Hey, what's up everybody? Look, I was getting ready to step out for a second, but I thought it was a great time to review Papa's new bag. This is the Thule Ascent, man. I forgot the liter number of this thing. As you can tell right off the bat, it's kind of a taller backpack, just by a little bit, uh, but it has one feature in it amongst all the features that I do love, because I love just about everything about this thing, but one feature makes it stand out from the rest of my bags, and that's this right here, and that's where we're gonna start. So I like to take my tripod with me a lot of times. I know everybody's not doing photography or videography, so you don't have no use for a tripod, but what if you roll up a jacket or a yoga mat, any kind of thing you just don't wanna put in your backpack right away? It has these straps right here, that are on the bottom. You can actually grab it and carry it by these things. They're that strong. But they have some Thule branding right here, and then you can loosen them up and just kind of stuff anything you want to in those straps right there. So I love that about this bag, that I have a place for my tripod when I need it, and then I can just buckle it up when I don't. That doesn't exist in any of my current bags. So let's get on to the rest of it. Now the outside shell is kind of like this really sturdy, stiff nylon. It's a little bit too rigid for my personal preferences, but I'm sure with some little wear and tear, it, you know, it'll loosen up a little bit. On the inside of it, it feels like it has some type of plastic lining because it is kind of weather resistant. Uh, and you can hear it as you kind of crinkle the bag up. And yeah, it's, it's kind of loud. And that's the only thing I don't like about the bag. It's kind of rigid and loud, but it has its structure and I get it. You gotta, you can't have it all, right? So we got a little Thule branding right here. And next I wanna go to the side pocket. Some of these pockets, it's gonna take some learning where all the pockets are because you know, you kind of get confused because there are so many entrances into this bag. But we're gonna start right here on the side. So if you pull this zipper down right here, you'll see in here, there's a side pocket where I keep my Skull Candy headphones, man. These are my favorite headphones at the moment because my Crusher 360s are on vacation. By the way, this is a review for the Thule bag, but it's also kind of a what's in my tech bag kind of thing. So these are the Skull Candy venues right here. So back to the bag. In this pouch, you got this wide open pouch right here. Then it has a mesh pocket as well. That way when you put something in here, it doesn't always have to sink to the very bottom. But that's it right there. And I'll leave that open. I'm gonna leave all the pockets open as I go. So this is open right here. Nice little pouch right there. Where are we going next? Mm, let's go to this water bottle pocket right here. I like it because it is kind of deep. You can stick a, a good size water bottle in there and it's not gonna topple over. It is kind of snug, so it's not gonna come out once you put it in there. But if you put a tall water bottle in there, it will interfere with this handle, which is another one of my favorite parts of this bag. If you wanna hold the bag like a duffel almost, you got it right there. And this is a nice sturdy handle that you can grab it by. And I love this part of this bag. None of my other backpacks have this feature right here. That's one of the reasons why I like this one so much as well. So you only get one water compartment and that's on the opposite side. Over here, you got a zippered pouch with a little mesh right here to keep it from opening too much. But this is where I keep my power adapter for my laptop right here. This is my RAV Power Multi USB-C uh, power plug right here, man. This thing is awesome on the go. It can charge a laptop and four USB devices. Fast charging, by the way. So let's just put that down right there. Now let's move on to the safety zone. So right here, you got, you, you hear that? That's a hard shell carrying case right there. So let's just unzip it and then it, well, let me just, yeah, there we go. So let's just unzip it to right there. Now it doesn't open up all the way. It just opens up enough to where you can get your goodies out of there. I got my Zungle Bluetooth glasses in here. And then I got some ZNT air fits in here. And then of course, some microfiber cleaning cloth. And this pouch actually comes out. This is super cool right here. Check this out. So this actually comes out of here and we'll just put it right there and it acts as a tray. So let's just put the stuff back in it because it acts as a tray. But then you got a pouch right here where you can put some goodies in there. Okay, now that we got all the stuff out of the safety zone, let's go back up to the top. Let's just open this up. There's another little pouch right here. And right here, I got some lotion. I'm an ashy dude, man. Shout out to my man, Donnell Rollins. He swears that he is the ashiest man on the planet. I challenge you, bro. So y'all send this video to Ashley Larry and let him know what's up. So I got, I keep me some lotion on deck right there. And then I got a couple of pins. Let me see what else I got in here. Oh man, I got all kinds of goodies up in here. Oh my, okay, we got some gum, gotta keep it fresh. Got some chapstick, got some more breath freshener, got a pick for that beard, got some more pins and stuff, some dental floss, and I got my multi-tool because you never know when you're gonna need a screwdriver, some pliers, and a knife all at the same time. Got to have that on deck. And now the pouch is empty. It does have a lanyard if you wanna put some keys in there or something and don't wanna be searching around for them. So that's opened up all the way and now we can unzip what I'll call the hoodie. Okay, so let's just unzip this thing right here. This is actually how you access the main compartment. So what you do is, notice how it just flips down like this and it just kind of peels down. 
So I'm gonna peel it down at you. And then we have the ultimate dongle, which has my SD card reader and a couple of USB 3.0 ports, and it comes out to a USB-C. Put that right there, leave that open. Then we have the main pouch. And the main pouch is actually pretty huge, man. I got right here this little folder. I like to keep some business materials in there. And then I keep my notebook in there. Love, love, love this notebook. And then we have a couple of pouches right here. One in which I keep my true wireless charging bank right here. I love, love, love this thing. Put that right there. And then I actually keep a couple of wires in here. One is a USB-C, one is a, a micro USB because not everything is USB-C all the things just yet. Let's just keep two in there. You got a pouch right here for your tablet if you need one. And I'm pretty sure that'll fit a 12 inch tablet. It actually goes pretty deep. And then back here you have a massive pouch which will hold at least a 15 inch laptop. And I think most people are carrying around about a 15 inch laptop. This is a 13. So let's just put this back in here because we got a special trick to show you with this thing. Now let's suppose you don't want to open up the whole hoodie compartment. All you gotta do is spin it around to the side and you got access right here. You just zip this thing down and it only accesses the pouch with the laptop in it. You cannot access the rest of the bag. This is only for the laptop. You slide your hand in there, pull that laptop out, bam, you are good to go. Now, the whole bag is exposed, man. I think we got all the pockets, all the pouches. Yeah, I think everything's up out of here. Let's talk about these straps. Now the straps are super thick and comfortable. I like the contour, got a little bit of Thule branding right there. Uh, one thing I wish these straps had is a, a place to put maybe a carabiner, like a little loop right here or something. That way you can put your own devices onto the straps. And I wish these were passed through. That would work also if these uh, little patches right here were passed through, but they're not. I'm not sure why they decided to do that. But you got some chest straps right here. These are not removable. I mean, you could remove them, but you are going to have one hell of a time trying to put them back on. So I, was, I suggest not to remove them if you think you ever want to put them back on again. It's going to be a tough time getting them back on. Then you got to pass through right here for a suitcase if you're traveling. And you got plenty, plenty of padding for the backside, so it should be pretty comfortable. Uh, you got some stitching right here, that, which creates some type of ventilation. I'm not sure if this thing is going to make you sweat a lot or not. I haven't tested it to that regard. But so far in my usage, it's been pretty comfortable carrying it via one strap or with two straps on the back. Now on the bottom, this does seem like it's reinforced very, very well to where it'll last and not, you know, if you sit it in a puddle of water, it's just not gonna seep water in there and get all your gear wet. Last but not least, we have this grab handle up here, which is padded for comfort. This one right here on the side is not padded as well as the one on the top. So this is the one I guess they really want you to grab onto, or maybe it's because it's the most commonly used one. But I find myself grabbing it by the side and almost carrying it like a duffel quite a bit. But anyways, man, I love this bag. This is the one I decided to keep. I, I just tried out a couple and this one just seemed to suit all my needs. This is the Thule Ascent. Now let me go ahead and put the bag down and for all you nosy folks that wanted to see what's in my bag and wanted me to do a what's in my bag video, here you go. Now look, I ain't no travel expert or nothing like that, but I do like my bags. And I highly recommend the Too Late Ascent if you're looking for something that'll pack all your gear, keep it organized, and actually protect it. But before I get out of here, y'all go ahead and tap on that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all at the next one.